Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we have Gareth Cox, who is the Vice President of Sales for APJ for Ixabeam. So welcome to the Jam, Gareth. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Um, so we'll get started right off. So could you just give me a brief rundown on Ixabeam? What are your core offerings? Who are your key partners in the region? That sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. So um, Xbeam is a, a fairly new company. It's been around eight years. Um, when we first launched our platform, um, we launched it actually at a Splunk conference um, where we added analytics and automation on top of the logging platform of Splunk. And then in 2015, um, we were QRadar's partner of the year, uh, adding the analytics and automation on top of their logging platform. And when I joined the company three years ago, um, we actually just went out on the magic quadrant for a full end-to-end -end sim. So we added the logging and SOAR capabilities on top of our analytics. And over the last three years, um, we moved from visionary to leader, um, to leader again, and now we're the undisputed leader in the magic quadrant. Um, but today we're still, 50% of our business is uh, augmentation or adding value onto any logging platform if it's um, a on-prem or cloud uh, provider. And the other 50% of our business is a full end-to-end -end, uh, SIM solution. So um, yeah, we're completely open in that manner. Brilliant, cool. So I understand you're active in the APEC region, which we have a special interest in, obviously. So um, could you tell me what your go-to-market model is for this region and are you active in the channel as well? Yeah, great question. So we're hundred percent channel. Um, the company has never taken any business globally ever. Um, we are a technology company and what we're looking for is partners to help add value to our customers. Um, you know, when we look at adding value is we love our partners to help deploy the Exabeam solution, um, either run a managed service on top of the Exabeam so solution or help consult adding cyber use cases for our clients. Um, so that is our, our main focus. Um, we have three main regions where we focus in. So it's the ANZ region, the Southeast Asia region, and Japan. Um, and we're looking to do further expansion in the future. Right, yeah. Um, so changing to uh, purely sec uh, security threat topic, um, what are you seeing in the region in terms of threats and how are organizations responding to them in your view? Yeah, it's, it's been a challenge for organizations for years. If you just take the, the threat focus away, you know, if you look at business in general, you know, it's always been that they're looking to adopt faster um, and, and be more efficient. So the business is running when getting new cloud services and IT security operations is trying to work with the business to be a security enabler. Um, you know, in certain organizations with COVID, they, they still had more of an on-premise view. And when the pandemic came out, more and more cloud services were adopted and a lot of infrastructure has been spread out um, across multiple different cloud service providers. The issue what you see with, with SISOs today, and, and you interview a lot of SISOs yourself, is if you, if you ask them a simple question, do you know what is normal in your environment? right, they would have a very hard time trying to understand what is normal or abnormal in their environment. Um, they would also have a very hard time um, to identify, uh, you know, lateral movement, compromise accounts within their organization too. So there's been a lot of changes happening in the environment. Since COVID, um, there's some stats where the amount of phishing attacks have gone up by around 500%, um, and phishing attacks are taking credentials. And if you look at the Verizon data breach report for the last 10 years, the number one attack vector has been credential based attacks, right? So when you ask me the question about new cyber threats, um, there's still the old cyber threats. There's also a lot of challenges what you're having with the adversary is using machine learning and using AI to get into environments today. And a lot of companies today are, are still using correlation rules um, and old methods um, to actually identify what is abnormal and normal. Right, yeah. Um, so looking towards the future now, what's in the pipeline for Xbeam over the next few months? So any major developments or plans you can share? Yeah, we've had a huge, huge quarter before, right? So we've, we've just announced a new CEO, uh, Mike DeCesar, um, who's come on uh, to take our company forward to move us towards uh, public in the next two years. 
Um, we also took on a, on a huge round of funding where we're really focusing in on building out our cloud platform. Um, you know, we've moved from a solution what was uh, on on prem. We went to the cloud, and now we're moving all our innovation into the cloud. Um, you know, our view is. Uh, you need to secure the cloud via the cloud um, and also innovation. If you look at any um, vendor, doesn't matter if it's in security or not, everyone's innovating in the cloud because it's faster, more efficient moving forward. So our focus really is to um, move forward on innovation of the cloud. But when we look at our channel models, um, we're going to be doing further expansion in APAC, um, you know, looking at cloud uh, focus friendly uh, countries, you know, for example, New Zealand is, is a great market. They've got a very cloud first, um, cloud first philosophy in New Zealand. So working and setting up more business partners in New Zealand, we brought on a distributor in New Zealand with exclusive um, to help us start ramping that up. Um, we're also working very heavily in, in Australia, Southeast Asia and Japan, we've got a huge team, um, but I, I envision us going into countries like India, um, probably in the next 12 months and building out teams up there too. Brilliant, sounds exciting. Um, so I've got one more question for you, Gareth. Um, for someone who's not familiar with Exabeam, what is the best way to get in touch and find out more about the company? Yeah, definitely. So the, the best way is to go to exabeam.com. Um, on our website there, it has the ability to request uh, a demonstration and basically our, our sales uh, teams would call up uh, the user or the partner and get the, the right teams in touch. Um, but also locally here, we have a number of local partners that are on our website and distributors. So in Australia, our distributor is Orchitech and New Zealand, our distributor is exclusive. Um, and, and they also have the ability to facilitate meetings. Um, but the easiest way is to go to xbeam.com. Brilliant, cool. Well, uh, that's it for today's interview. Uh, thank you, Gareth, for taking the time today. Yeah, thank you very much. Take care.